Okay, I get it. We all make mistakes and we all have something to learn from them, but really we want to learn so we don't have to make the same mistake over and over and over again, right? This six figure mastermind, we're going to learn exactly how to do just that. Congratulations, you made a mistake. Good for you and good for you for looking up how to actually learn something from it. You know, maybe that's a weird reaction when you make a mistake, but that's the first step in learning from your mistakes and learning how to overcome them and not repeat them again. You know, trust me, there's a lot of mistakes that we get to make in life. And I say get to on purpose because that's why we came here. We came here to learn and to grow. And sometimes the best way to do that is to make a mistake and to learn from it. You know, there's this whole idea of success. And some people think that you can't have success and mis make mistakes at the same time. Gosh, you guys, I make mistakes all the time. And when I started with that, I was like, oh, I can't make mistakes because that means I'm, I'm bad or I'm not allowed to make mistakes because it'll speak to who I am and maybe I don't think I'm a good person and all of that just mumbo jumbo garbage stuff about mistakes. We're supposed to make mistakes, guys. Now, how do we learn from it? First thing that I recommend in learning from your mistakes is to get grateful. Grateful for like, why, why, who does that? That, that almost doesn't make any sense, right? Grateful you're for your mistakes? What do you even mean? How do you get grateful for something that you didn't want or that you didn't do on purpose or was an accident? Grateful means I had this show up for me. I made the mistake. I'm so grateful that I did that. And when you start with this idea of being grateful, your brain is going to work on a different operating system. When you can get grateful for your mistakes, you're going to be constantly asking yourself, why should I be grateful for this? And that is a great question for your brain. That is a great question to ask yourself. Whenever you ask yourself a question, you always get an answer because you are always finding what you're looking for. So if you can be grateful for any given scenario, you can be grateful for making mistakes, your brain's going to want to know why. And that's a question that has really good answers. So let's say you made the mistake of crashing your car. Not that I've ever done, well, I totally have. I totally crashed my car. I've, I've crashed a few cars, actually. I remember my first car crash was when I was 16 years old, brand new, just got my license. And my dad in his infinite wisdom put me in an 18 foot solid steel land yacht of a 1972 Thunderbird. If you haven't seen one, go look it up. It is a tank to drive that thing. I mean, maybe my dad put me in there because he knew that any mistakes I made wouldn't injure me. You know, I was driving in a tank and uh, like anything I ran into wouldn't get to me because it would have to go through the car first. So my first car accident, I was in the dark, I was driving and I was about to turn the corner to go right, going down the street. As I did that, I was trying to maneuver this 18 foot behemoth of a car around the corner. And when I did, I sideswiped a telephone pole. Oh, my first accident, like, Oh man, I'm only 16 years old and I already have an accident and it, it was totally my fault because the foam pole obviously didn't jump out in front of me. Like I just had to own that one. And I remember I was driving to school and I just, I didn't even like, I, ugh, I didn't want to go, but I didn't want to go home and I needed to take care of the car maybe before my dad noticed. And like I said, I was driving a, a pretty much a land yacht tank. So not much damage was done to the car, but I, you know, did I need to call the police and file a, a report about a car accidents? I was told you needed to do that with every car accident. And what about the trim that came off the car when I ran it against the pole? All of these thoughts are just going through my mind and just creating utter chaos of doubt and fear and apprehension and anger. And all of these things are going through my mind. My heart rate's going up and I'm, I'm starting to freak out a little bit. Should I ever drive again? It's, and it seems irrational, but that's what goes on in our minds when we're making mistakes. And that's totally normal. It's totally normal to do that. What I ended up doing is I ended up going home after first period and I actually didn't go home. I went to my neighbor's house and she was like a second family to me. And I went, I drove up with my car a little bit dinged up 
And I walked in and I was like, her name was Kay. And I said, Kay, I crashed my car. I don't want to tell my dad. I don't want to go home. I don't want him to know. I don't want him to know that I made that mistake. And she said something so wise to me. She said, hey, it's no big deal. You're the last of ten, 10 kids, for crying out loud. You're going to make mistakes. It's your first time driving. It, it's okay. You're okay. The car's going to be fine. It's not irreparable, and you can barely tell. It's okay. But what did you learn? Well, I learned that I need to check my side view better before I make turns in the dark. I learned that I need to pull my car out a little bit more before I go into a turn. I learned that foam poles are pretty hardy and they're not gonna cause a lot of damage to my car. I mean, that's useful, although I don't hope to use that information again anytime soon. And I started to make a list of all the things I learned from that experience and that I was allowed to make mistakes. It's okay to make mistakes. And mistakes are best made if you can learn something from it. Now, don't go try and and wreck your car. I wouldn't advise that. In fact, I really like learning from other people's mistakes if I don't have to learn from my own. But just know that it's okay when you do make a mistake, especially when you learn the lesson. I want to talk to you about confidence versus humility because it takes a lot of humility to even admit that you made a mistake. You know, I was talking to my husband about it and he had a really amazing perspective on what exactly humility is. And he said, Marianne, try reading this book and every time it says humble or humility, replace it with confidence. And I was like, well, isn't that like the opposite of humility? He's like, no, 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 totally not. Be confident and own it. So when you make a mistake and you're, you're nervous about getting vulnerable and you're nervous, nervous about owning it, Step into confidence instead. It doesn't change what happened. It doesn't change the mistake that got made, but it allows you to say, yeah, I did that. And here's the funny thing about mistakes. One of the toughest things to swallow about mistakes is when other people find out. When other people find out that you made mistakes and oh, who knows what they might say to you, right? Who knows if they're gonna come up to you and say, oh, you, you did that thing and I know about it. When you have confidence and humility and someone comes up to you and they say, oh, I saw you uh, trip and fall off the stage. That was, that was such a lame move. You know, you, you, you're so lame for falling off the stage. You'd be like, yeah, I sure did. What are they going to say to that? I mean, it's not a surprise to you that you made the mistake. You were there, but it is a surprise most often to own it. Say, yeah, I totally did that. I totally made that mistake. I'll tell you a little secret. I'm going to I'm going to be a little bit vulnerable <laughs> with you right now. I was in high school and I was taking a a math class that was pretty intense, pretty intense math at the time that I thought anyway. And the final exam for the year was this series of shapes in this really weird drawing that we had to figure out the area of. So it was like squares and circles and half circles and we had to find out what the total area of this shape was, minus the circle in the middle. I, I remember it because of the big mistake that I made. I was fretting over this test because I had to know the equations for how to find the area of a circle, how to find the area of a triangle, how to find the area of a rectangle, minus all of that. It was a pretty heavy duty test. And when I completed that test, I was really nervous about the answer I got. And it was crazy because you had to do so much math on this test and the test was only one answer, but you had to do problem after problem after problem after problem to get that one answer and your entire exam hinged on a single question. So I was fretting about it. And as I, as I took the test and I stared at it for so long, after the test was over, I actually took a piece of paper and I redrew the shape, I knew the shape because I had studied it during, during the test and I like imprinted it into my mind. I drew the shape and I redid all of my work on it, okay? So I basically had a copy of the test from my mind that I had in front of me. I was fretting over it, I was worried about it, I was, I was nervous about it and someone next to me saw what I had and he's like, hey, what's that? And I said, oh, it's the math test and we're just checking my work. I'm really nervous about it. And he's like, oh, can I see it? And in my mind, I thought, 
oh, if there's anything I can do to help another student do well on the test, I'm happy to do it. Not even making the connection that I was helping him cheat. And so I was like, okay, like, yeah, sure. Like learn from my efforts, go ahead. And I, I gave him a copy and that copy got to four or five other people who had math later that same day and had the same test going on. Well, a couple days later, I get this call from my teacher and he brought me into his classroom. He brought the boy who I'd given the test to into his classroom and a couple other people. And he was livid. He was very, very angry. And he said, Marianne, how could you cheat on this test? How could you give the answers away? And how could you show? And I, I at first was just shocked because I really didn't realize what I had done. I was just trying to check my answers and help out other people, not even making the connection that I was cheating on a final exam and helping somebody else cheat. I, I began to wrap my head around what it could have looked like. It really did look like I was cheating. And actually, without knowing it, that's exactly what happened. And I felt so awful in that moment. I said, you know what, I, I'll, I'll retake the test. I'll, I'll take a different test. I'll do whatever it is that I need to do to make this right. Because as much as I hate to admit it, that's exactly what happened. I did redraw the test. I did redo the math. And I did distribute it. Even though I wasn't intending any harm, that's what happened. And when I owned it, no one could say anything about it. And I learned incredible lessons about ownership from that mistake. I learned incredible things. I ended up, he created a brand new test for me and a brand new test for these other students. We had to retake the test and we had to do it all over again. But the lesson I learned was more valuable than any grade I could have gotten on any test. And the lesson was, I'm just gonna own it. I'm gonna say, yep, that's what happened. Yep, I did do that. More importantly, what can I do to make it better? Mistakes are valuable. When you learn the lesson from them, you're able to not only not make the mistake again, but to teach someone else, to teach someone else to learn from your mistakes. I love learning from my mistakes. So, you know, when my daughters come up to me and they have something similar, I'm gonna remember, you know, don't worry about the test once it's over because it's over and there's nothing you can do about it. Don't fret over it, just be at peace and be relaxed with what happens. I learned that and so I can teach that and not have the same heartache and the same stress and the same pain over and over in my world. Learning from your mistakes turns your mistakes into pure gold. So what are you grateful for? What's the lesson that you have learned? And in fact, let's, let's learn from each other right here in the comments. So comment below with the number one coolest lesson that you've learned in your world. Hit the subscribe button. I'll see you tomorrow.